What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool effect. We're going to be applying the Niagara Fluid Simulations into an actual skeletal mesh that will be rendered at real time and will be following all the bones etc. It's going to be a very easy tutorial to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is go into the edit and go into plugins and we need to search for Niagara and we need to basically turn on this Niagara Fluids um, plugin which is in beta it will basically say uh, this plugin is in experiment mode you say yes and then you would need to restart the editor I actually made a really cool uh, video uh, checking out all the Niagara Fluid Simulation templates you can check it out uh, the video is going to be in the description all right so the first thing that we're going to do is just create it from a simple template right because you say fire template so just right click go into new Niagara system and I'm going to use a new system from a template or a behavior example right you say next and then what we're going to do is just go scroll down until we see uh, 3d gas okay we have really cool effects here and the one that we're going to use that will suit, uh, you know, will fit better into what we're going to do today is just the grid 3D gas simple particle source. Okay, it's going to be like a source that we just made like a fire and smoke at the same time. So I'll just say finish. Now name it how you want. In my case, I'm just going to name it Skeletal Mesh. Sorry, Skeletal Mesh Niagara uh, System. Okay. Go ahead and save it just in case it crashes and then just go ahead and open it all right so now we have here the simulation uh i will pause it just in case you know uh in my pc might explode as i record and we're gonna find these two things so first of all we have the particle source emitter basically if we take a look and just disable and basically enable the sprite render here you'll see that our actual simulation is pretty much that. You know, this is the render that will be applied in the sprite render. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to change is the shape location, all right? So we are not gonna use a shape location to basically spawn the particle. As you can see, we are in this uh, particle spawn uh, section. We are gonna go ahead and just delete it, and add a new one. And in this case, it's gonna be called in initialize mesh reproduction sprite all right so now that we have added this you will see in the selection uh part we can actually uh add a preview mesh so that's what we're going to do i'm just going to choose the normal sk mannequin from unreal engine 4 and you will see that actually we now have a shape of a, a the mannequin being applied into our fluid simulation we hit play you can see how it's forming So uh, you are seeing that it's actually colliding with the top of the grid. Um, well, we will fix this when it's in the scene, but you know. All right, so now uh, let's go ahead and just add one more thing. We want our particles to go ahead and follow it because right now it would just be being spawned into this shape, but it will not follow uh, basically our mesh. So we are just gonna go into the particle update because this needs to be uh, done in the update. So we want to, in every frame, refresh the, you know, the location and just say re reproductive update mesh reflection sprite. And we will basically go ahead and apply exactly the same uh, model. All right, so now make sure that you have compiled and then save it just in case it crashes because it's high consuming. Now go back into the scene and just go ahead and drag it on. So you will see that our, um, you know, character is being applied in here. But of course, you know, it's it's a bit stuck in the in the box, right? So what we are going to do is just go here into the world space size and just increase all this. So I'm just going to go ahead and increase the altitude. In my case, I'm going to be using 500, 500 and 500. All right, so we have our model here. Uh, we will face that it basically is, you know, too much uh, fluid simulations going on and we lose a bit the perspective of the model. But what we are going to do is just go to the content and just get our mannequin. And in my case, I'm just gonna get this jog animation. So like I said, this will actually follow the animation. Just drag it into the scene, uh, kind of 
you know in the same location as your fluid and what we are going to do is just select your fluid in the outliner and just drag it onto jug and this just parent it into the non and you will see that our simulation will be in place now we have to go ahead and just move it a bit around so just go in here and just reset a bit these and just go ahead and try to fit it so once it's pretty much fitted if we go ahead and just simulate it you will see that our particles are you know actually following our model you can see but of course right now is you know there's just too much so we cannot basically go ahead and see so let's go ahead and fix this so let's go back into our you know, niagara fluid simulation and what we are going to do is just go into the initialize particle and first of all make this 0.1 so the lifetime max so it will basically last you know, much less and there will be uh, less particles in the air at the same time and also in the spawn rate we'll reduce this by literally a 7000 okay if we go back and hit play uh, there's some improvement but it's still there's too much so let's go and uh, continue let's go into the uh, you know 3d gas and what we are going to do is the density multiplier Gonna go ahead and just lower this into 20 and let's go ahead and find the velocity multiplier maybe 0.1 and you can see that we, we are having some uh, force now let's make it even better so in the add velocity uh, let's go ahead and disable this we don't want any velocity of particles and in the cold nose effect force we just disable this now let's go here and let's actually search for the gravity and we have uh, gravity being applied so I just make this zero and in the y axis make it 500 so you can see this very cool effect. so now there's no any gravity force being down but there's a gravity force being applied in the y axis so like backwards uh, into him and we can see that it just looks absolutely amazing now there's still a lot of you know fire and effects but you can be you know tune this by yourself and you know just start experimenting with things so yeah guys i'm gonna be leaving this video here please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this uh please let me know in the comments what other unreal engine effect shows you want to see and sub if you want to see more niagara tutorials you can see that we ended with a really really cool result so with all that said bye bye